Hey entrepreneur, this is Mark News and Mr. Marketing. Welcome to part two of how to use low cost, high impact promotional strategies. Just like the big boys and girls do. So you can strategically pad your bank account as well. Ladies and gentlemen, in part two of this series, you're going to cover, uncover, pardon me, another extremely powerful yet underutilized marketing strategy that every serious business owner can and should be using, especially if you own a local bar and grill. We're going to take this concept of premiums and show you how you can hit it out of the park. So let's say you have a local bar and grill, and by the way, ladies and gentlemen, this could be uh, depending on what your clientele is. If it's college students, you just simply uh, cater the particular concepts that you're going to see around that particular clientele, or if you're dealing with adults. But in any case, no matter what your clientele is, we're targeting the ladies with this particular strategy, but we're not excluding the gentlemen, so I don't want you to feel bad, gentlemen. We got some strategies for you too, but we're targeting the ladies for a specific reason. And here's basically what we're trying to do. We're trying to get more premium beer sales. That's the concept. So here's what we do. You put a big giant roulette wheel right up on the uh, counter of the bar. So as soon as they come in, they see it. And it has a little sign that says, with every purchase tonight, you know, you try to make it sound exclusive, of any and you list the premium beers. They get automatically get a spin of the wheel. And they can see what the prizes are up there. Now, here's the other thing you might want to initially test this concept on your slowest night because what you're trying to do is obviously increase the clientele on that particular night so you're using this strategy to do it and the other thing is you might test this on your theme nights you know like Halloween and Christmas when you have your Christmas parties or if you do Super Bowls or when you have boxing matches and again this would be when you're targeting the guys in terms of boxing matches and sporting events but uh, back to school if you got college students um, when they come back from spring break in other words any of your theme nights that you use that's when you want to roll this concept out so here's the way it might work basically once every hour or every couple of hours you got your roulette wheel up there and let's say if you're just going after adult women you might have stuff like the ladies can win a free slice of pizza or uh, one free premium beer or maybe let's say if a premium beer normally costs seven dollars they can win it for a dollar um, you might have 50 percent off a premium pitcher of beer or for the gentleman what you might have is 25 percent off or 50 percent off their next three purchases of premium beer so in other words you want them to come back the other thing you might do is give the ladies 50 percent off uh, an order of wings but here's the big one. You want to give them a pair of women's earrings, perfume, or bracelet that you get from your local jeweler or some woman that owns a, or a, a guy if he owns a, a ladies boutique shop. And here's why. You know, they might be happy to tweet and, fa and post on Facebook that they won this premium picture of beer or they got this free beer. But long after that fades, Everywhere they go, they're going to be wearing those earrings, are they not? Or that perfume, or those bracelets. And here's the other thing. Whoever wins the uh, bracelet, or the necklace, or the earrings, what the jewelers, or what the uh, bar owner is going to do is he's going to have the jeweler's card and on the back side. He's just going to have, maybe he could use a date stamp. He gets tired of writing it, but just because you're a valued customer of whatever the... Uh, the bar's name is you get 25 percent off your first purchase and then they put a date 30 days out in other words you know whatever the today's date is there in that bar they go 30 days out so that person has 30 days to go in there and make some type of purchase or it expires but here's the other thing ladies and gentlemen you might save the last spin of the night 
and remember you want to test this on your slowest night because you're trying to increase the influx of women which obviously is going to bring the guys which means you're going to be having more alcohol being sold but you may want to save your last spin because your last spin is really going to be a raffle so you're not going to use the roulette wheel and here's why you you want to do this because once word gets out I guarantee if nobody else the ladies are going to be real interested in this and you know how a raffle works you have something that they want and is greatly discounted like say they spend a certain amount of money just to be in a raffle and hopefully enough people participate in the raffle that in reality the thing that you're giving away at this reduced price um, the raffle pays for it so you're gonna roll out the, the big boy on this one the big gun there he is so you get on the PA system you hold him up and say okay ladies everybody who buys a premium drink this round this is the first prize but it'd be nice to have some second and third and fourth prizes too so here's what you might do second prize might be a pair of women's earrings third prize might be a bracelet or some perfume the bottom line is though you want to do this on the last hour of the night because when that lady walks out of there or I should say those ladies walk out of there with those prizes and you tell them that you know you have the right to film this because you want to put this on your Facebook page too and show everybody what they're missing out on but here's the point somebody's going home with a teddy bear somebody's going home with a pair of women's earrings maybe a bracelet maybe some perfume and maybe some uh, a necklace those women are becoming a billboard for that particular night are they not and you best believe their co-workers or whoever they come in contact with their hairdresser they're going to want to know where they got that stuff translated you need to be at Joe's or Cindy's or whatever the name of that particular bar is on this particular night and again if your clientele is college students and you would adjust it like you might give them have one of the things on the roulette wheel is they can win 50 percent off some a certificate where they purchase their books and that kind of stuff you know or a CD of one of the hot local bands or whatever movie tickets you know you it's your clientele ladies and gentlemen you got to know what to do but the bottom line is entrepreneur I hope you can see how in part two of this promotional strategy series just how powerful this concept will be in terms of creating some serious word of mouth entrepreneur on that note for those of you who want to discover how you're going to add an additional 25 percent more gross profit to your bottom line in the next 90 days or less and do so without having to add any new customers or clients then you need that free nine page special report and all you have to do to get it Head over to youcanmarketonlinenow.com forward slash sales. This is Mark Newsom, Mr. Marketing. We'll see you again next time on the Marketing Menu.